what emergency if this something's happening if and something's it, happening and you need to turn your generator off whether okay. it's either electrical work or something you can just come over here and you can just flip the gas okay the lever off okay i don't have to this go all the off. way this is on okay i don't have to go all the way there's no. something okay. thank you good so i will not forget when you come up to your generator it'll be locked so you'll have this set of keys here and it'll be locked up is unlocked sideways is locked so it'll be you unlock it there's one on each side you open this up and then you have your control panel right here which if you go into here you can see your anything that's happening on the generator you can set your exercise time it's at 12 o'clock on Mondays here's your current time you can do you can do a couple things on it and then so inside here this front panel comes up and then off there are two tabs down here that go into these holes here you have your oil filter oil drain oil fill and dipstick spark plug and your air filters over here okay how often do i change that filter, air uh, filter? if when it gets dirty okay wash it or buy another one um you can typically just blow it out typically okay. these don't get really dirty like a car because okay. there's not a whole lot of dust by it it doesn't work all the time yeah. yeah so you got your battery here and that's pretty much it for inside the generator this goes back so that's the only time i open it up when i want to check something like the oil or something yes yeah, okay. that's the only time you'll. What, what's the other one? There? What's that other? That's your oil drain. Oh, so drain the oil. I don't have to do that, do I? Uh, no. I think the uh, first the year first... maintenance, you do it. Yes. Okay. And then over here on the side, you have three lights. You have green. If the green is on, you're good running running condition. If the yellow turns on, that just means it needs maintenance. So okay. you don't really have to worry about that light. But okay. if the red is on, that is when there's something wrong with the generator. If Indeed. the red turns on, it will not run. It will need to call for service. Yes, it, the red could be on due to the fact that there is a switch on the outside here. And if someone bumps this, it will turn it to red. Okay. As you can see, it's for when firefighters come and if they need to turn off your generator mm. in an emergency. That's where they would go. Okay. To reset that, you have to flip the switch back on. You push it? Yep, you just okay. flip it back on and then this is how you reset a uh, fault code. So you push off, then enter, and then back into auto. Okay. If you want to run it, you put it in manual. Okay. When, when, do, when do I put it in manual? In what situation? If you ever want to change the oil, and before you change the oil, you want to warm it up. That's pretty much the only okay. time you'll ever need okay. to put it in manual. Okay. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Okay, on so the, the other guy said that every once a month it fires up itself. Once a week. Once a week, and it lasts for how how long? Uh, five to seven minutes. And the time is set at what time? Is it automatically set by Monday's itself? Monday's at twelve o'clock. At noon? Yes. Okay. Do you want it changed or? Is no, no, that's fine. All right. Yeah, I just don't want to come at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, 